Lily and my pronouns are she, her. And my name is Kristen and my pronouns are also she, her. And we invite you to abide in service. We are two of the housemates in the 2021 and 2022 Urban Servant Corps community. USC is a program from the ELCA and we invite volunteers like ourselves to come from all over the country, even sometimes abroad, and live together in this house in Denver and abide in a year of service. Service to one another through intentional community, service to marginalized and oppressed communities through fulfilling service at nonprofit partner agencies, and service to our spiritual journeys and the earth. People consider a year of service for a number of reasons. Often we feel a call to seek a year apart, a year that focuses on core tenets that we all find important or intriguing and want to explore and develop. Often, volunteers seek to serve, putting their faith into action and responding to the call of discipleship. We abide in service to one another by entering into this community with the agreement that we will see one another as friends and here in this kitchen we take turns preparing and sharing meals that nourish our bodies. Cooking a meal for someone might not seem like an act of service, but it can be quite a joy to come home after a long day and know that you can relax and enjoy a meal together that you did not have to make yourself. We also serve one another by making the time and space for the laughter and tears needed to nourish our souls during this year. It takes intentional effort to show up ready to engage with your housemates, especially if you might already be feeling tired from your day. We abide in service to one another by, truly by trying to truly listen to one another as we share about our spiritual journeys or a hard day at our service sites. During this year, laughter can be very important. We're a funny community, so we usually enjoy making the time for those moments of joy with one another. As Urban Servant Corps, we also abide in service to the Denver community. I serve at New Legacy Charter School, which serves pregnant and parenting teenagers. And I serve at Senior Support Services, a day shelter for homeless seniors. We commit to understanding issues of injustice and our own power and privilege during this year and how it impacts how we serve marginalized and oppressed communities at our service sites. We abide in service by accompanying the people we meet and working towards lasting changes in our community. Service is a part of discipleship and we respond to this call by trying our best to learn new skills, walk humbly, and wrestle with the concept of the intersection of faith and social justice. We also abide in service to the earth as we explore lifestyles rooted in simplicity and others. Like many of the people we serve at our nonprofit partner agencies, we live on a modest budget and take this year to explore ways of doing more with less. Another way we do this is through monthly community simplicity challenges. This month, we're doing a gratitude wall. Um, we decided to do the gratitude wall because it helps us to continue to reflect on service. Uh, and we write little happy moments from the day for things that we're especially grateful for. At USC, we abide in service and service to one another, the Denver community, and to the earth. We invite you to discern what it means for you to abide in service and to take action in an intentional way. <laughs> <laughs>